Hi there, and welcome to this video. I'll try not to keep you too long, try to keep it pretty brief. I'll see how I go. On Saturday night, I had a gig, and on during Saturday, I rehearsed for that gig. During that rehearsal process, I decided that I would record myself just improvising over an A minor blues progression. Uh, it was just one of those uh, backing tracks that somebody's kindly up uploaded to YouTube so that everybody can practice their soloing and improvising and whatnot. And the reason why I actually went through this process is so that I could listen back and hopefully be my own biggest critic and listen to my playing and try and hear things that I didn't like about the way I played, whether it be a note that I missed, timing that I didn't like, or whatever. And I feel that, you know, going through that process of recording yourself every once in a while, listening back, is a really underestimated and probably underused tool that, that everybody has at their disposal when they're learning to play any instrument be it the guitar or otherwise. When I learnt to play, you know, there just wasn't the amount of recording equipment, be it simple, available to people. You know, you, you had like tape decks and things like that. It was about as good as it got. But now, like, everybody's got a smartphone, everybody's got a tablet of some description. These devices can record audio, video without a problem. So I urge you to, you know, record yourself and listen back. It can be a very humbling experience when you find out that maybe you're not playing things quite the way that you thought you were. You know, you can pick out the problems and then you can work on those issues. Because when you're actually playing the instrument, and this is more so as a beginner, you're more preoccupied with actually playing the instrument than you are listening to what you're doing. And when you listen back, you get to put, you know, the full attention of your ears, of what you hear, to that recording and actually, you know, work out whether you like it you don't like it, what you do like about it, what you don't like about it. So you can do more of what you do like and less of what you don't. So I hope you found this, this little tidbit helpful. Uh, we'll go to the backing track. I'll let you listen to it. Maybe you can give me some advice. Maybe pick it to pieces. Let me know in the comments section. Have a great day. I'll catch you later.